everybody. I'm Tim Donnelly, play-by-play announcer for the Charlotte Rush. We are post-game in the Charlotte Rush coach's office here at the Extreme Ice Center. Following the Rush home opening weekend, it was a sweep for the Charlotte Rush. Both the Elite and Premier win both of their games. We're going to talk Premier Rush hockey right now. And to do that, let's bring in the head coach and general manager of the Charlotte Rush Premier, Trevor Jewell. Trevor, a couple of big wins over Charleston, and you sit now with a record of 8-1-1, one, and one, a fantastic start for your club. Uh, let's talk about the uh, game last night. It was still pretty close until your team exploded there in that third period. You got uh, goals from five different players, and those Russians came through for you again, Philip Shimyakin and Artem Mikhailov. Talk about the game last night. Yeah, I thought we had a, had a good first shift, um, but after that we kind of took a nosedive and got a little complacent and didn't play our best game. I thought we were a little sloppy defensively and uh, through the neutral zone there, and we didn't get enough shots on that until about the second period. So um, I didn't like our first period, but the second period we turned it on and put a few in the net, and then uh, third period we really turned it on. So mm. um, we got to find a way to be more consistent, have better starts, and uh, kind of get out to the lead early and things like that. But other than that, overall, it's a decent game. I think we ended up with something around 54 shots, which is mm-hmm. fine, but... You know, I try to get 60 every time, and, um, you know, we didn't get there, but we were close, and we still got a win, so happy with that. But, you know, our power play's got to step up. I think that needs to be better, and, mm-hmm. again, our PK wasn't the greatest uh, last night, so make sure we got to work on that this week and get our guys really going and make sure that we take care of business and, and stick to our systems and things like that and, and the in-game adjustments we need to make to their to their power play and things like that. So, um, you know, overall, please, but, you know, I think we have a lot of work to do. By the way, speaking of explosive, in that third period last night, the Rush getting three goals in a minute and six seconds. And, Trevor, that just seemed to stun uh, the Colonials. And, uh, wow, just talk about that explosive uh, three goals of the Rush just really poured it on in that minute and six seconds. Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of team we build here. Um, you know, we can really explode at any point in time, but I'd like to see it be more consistent throughout 60 minutes instead of just one minute and, like, 30 seconds or something. But, um, you know, we did what we needed to do. But we got to play a full 60 minutes and not, you know, just pick and choose our times to play. So um, it, it was a, it was a nice, um, it was a warm welcome, I should say, to see that happen and have mm-hmm. a score like that. And when they want to turn it on, it shows how good we really can, we really can be. But and you know, we got to be able to do that for a full game and, mm-hmm. and make sure we start like that as well. But otherwise, you know, it, it was a fun period to be a part of. And you know, I think some guys stepped up. And you know, obviously with Artie and Phil, I mean, they're having a great year so far. So I, I have nothing but good things to say about them. They're the key guys for us, and they play a ton of minutes. So um, very happy for those two and for, and for their families and things, but especially them being guys that are working for college commitments. And again, the rush comes right back and defeats the Colonials by another three goal margin, six to three today. Uh, Trevor, the game was still in dot though in the third period, but the rush again, much like Saturday night, came through to get some goals and get that margin up to uh, three goals. And one of the guys I was very impressed with today was uh, Matt uh, uh, Minerva, who got a couple of goals and looked dangerous all game. Yeah, again, it's a little bit the same the last night. You know, we didn't have the greatest game. Again, PK didn't come up when we needed him to a couple of times, but we let him hang around a little bit too long. I mean, we'd score one, they'd score one, and then we'd score two, and they'd score one, put him back into one. So, um, you know, kind of really just fight. It was a back-and-forth game and a dog fight until about the third period. So, again, we turned it on in the third and got better. Minerva was great. Um, you know, he shot the puck well, mm. went to the net, you know, got some dirty goals, stuff like that. But at the same time, you know, he's got to move the puck and, and start putting some assists on the board as well. But mm-hmm. very happy with his play overall. And, uh, you know, he did a good job staying out of the box tonight too. So uh, he's a welcome addition. And, mm-hmm. you know, I think he's going to be, be a big gun for us going forward. And I'm very happy to have him here. You put Jack Rydell in net both Saturday and Sunday. Trevor, critique this play this weekend. I thought he was good. Um, you know, obviously, I think the second goal today, he probably should have, or maybe it was the third, the one that beat him short side in the middle bar. Mm-hmm. But, um, I also think he was screened. So, but I mean, he's a kid that he, he's fought and battled for, you know, three years here, and he deserves every minute he plays. And, you know, he buys in. He's a guy that loves the rush, lives by us, and, you know, we'll do anything for him. And, he, and he's winning hockey games for us, too, at the end of the day. So, um, you know, I, I have nothing but good things to say about his play. I think there's some other things that he can clean up, but mm-hmm. that's why we have Brian Holland. I'm not a goalie guy, so I can't really mm-hmm. break it down. But, um, you know, happy with him. You know, he's a leader on and off the ice. He does things the right way. And, you know, I'm excited to see what kind of happens for him throughout the year with, all the, with the minutes he's playing and the wins he's getting and see what kind of school he ends up at. 
All right, we are chatting with Trevor Jewell, head coach and general manager of the Charlotte Rush Premier. Why don't we this big home opening weekend, a sweep for the Rush, the Premier winning both games by three goal margins. And Trevor, next weekend we head to Richmond to face the Generals. And again, this has traditionally been a very physical series uh, with Richmond. I would imagine we can expect the game, but just talk about what you and the Rush Premier need to do to be successful next weekend against the Generals. Um, obviously, we got to control what we can control and make sure that we play our game in our system and move pucks and get pucks and bodies to the net. They're notorious for having a good goalie and playing a physical style game, but we have to use our speed and um, you know our skill to kind of you know counteract that. But you know, hopefully, this year is a little bit different where we don't run into melees and the games take nine mm-hmm. hours up in, the, mm-hmm. up in the arcade that they play in in Richmond. I'm you know, not a big fan of going up there all the time because it's a long trip and you know it's. Again, we've been on the road all year, so it's nice to be home and then to go right back on the road is a little bit tough. But, um, you know, Richmond's always got a good team and they're always decent and they're always gunning for us too. So, and again, they're going to want some revenge because we knocked them out of playoffs last year. So, um, you know, just expecting our guys to have a good week of practice battle, mm-hmm. work on the systems that we need to work on to beat them. We'll watch video on them, see where their strengths and weaknesses are and kind of go from there. But, um, you know, again, just we got to worry about us and take care of what we need to take care of. And I think we'll be just fine. Trevor, your club is 8-1-1, one, one. terrific start. But again, with that success, how do you keep the guys uh, humble and hungry and not overconfident? Uh, those guys in that room, I mean, all they want to do is get better and uh, go, obviously go to the higher levels. The older guys want to go to college. The middle of the pack guys want to play at Tier 2, and some of those guys that are older want to go back to Tier 2. So um, the competition's there between themselves. There's always a battle. There's always a fight going on. Not necessarily a real fight, but <laughs> there's always a position, positional battle, and guys take pride in that. And, um, you know, practices are never complacent. The guys really battle and they, they really push each other. So I'm very happy to see that in practice so far. But, you know, we got a lot of work to do still going forward. Yes, it's a good start, but we still got another 30 some odd games left. Final comment from Trevor Jewell, head coach and general manager of the Charlotte Rush Premier. Uh, Trevor, we got a lot of emails in from uh, families of uh, past players, current players, newcomers. We were really overwhelmed with the emails and the great support we got. A lot of people are watching the games on Hockey TV. We also heard from this family in Gulfstream, Florida, and uh, it was your parents. And they sent me a nice email just saying, hey, we're watching Trevor. We're so proud of him. And uh, again, they were having to go back and forth because I guess your little brother, Ross, was also playing in a college game uh, today. But uh, they are very supportive of you and watching and very proud of what you've been able to accomplish here. So I know you were glad to see them watching the game and also chime in with us via email. <laughs> yeah, my dad always has some little comment there. It must, have been, <laughs> must have been because the Lions weren't playing today. But oh. he usually, he's usually mad because you can't watch that because they're never in their you know, area or district to watch that game. But very happy to have them supporting me and obviously my little brother as well, being a guy, a Russian alumni that won a championship with us. And, you know, it, it's special to have that kind of family atmosphere. And, you know, from what I'm told, I think there was a couple other people watching. I think, ah! I think it was the uh, the Crothers family. I think they chimed in a little bit. Oh, yeah, they sure did, yeah. And I'm sure Blake and Brady had something to say there. So I can't, <laughs> can't wait to hear from those two on how I need to be better. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, obviously, if you didn't know, Blake and Brady are actually the real coaches of the Charlotte Rush. There we go. Now, that's truth you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's so, truth. We'll, we'll, we'll have to see them down here soon and, and drawing up the plays on the board like they used to. But, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully they're all doing well up in Pittsburgh. And uh, we miss having them down here. But, you know, obviously, the other thing I want to say is, is obviously for Max Soroka, you know, with, with the issue he's having in mm-hmm. the hospital, um, you know, being at home and winning two games for him and, and everybody's got their wristbands on for him. Max, we hope you're doing well, buddy. We miss you. And, uh, you know, those four wins were for you. So we can't wait to see you back here and we're excited to see you, see you back and healthy. Well said, Trevor. Yeah, Max Soroka, uh, an arena worker here, also at Bojangles Coliseum. And Max had a serious stroke uh, a few weeks back, but he is recovering. And all of Rush Nation, we send you our thoughts and prayers uh, for sure. And Trevor, when you tell me that Brady and Blake are going to tell you what you were doing wrong coaching, what's that mean they're going to tell me what I'm doing wrong broadcasting, right? I have no idea. Ah, They'll ah, come ah, up with something, I'm sure. That oh, yeah. Brady especially. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so be ready for it. It's coming. Yeah, good to see Ryan and a lot of the guys watching today. And Ryan, again, congrats. Two big wins this weekend uh, over Bentley. And again, we're happy for you with the Colonials of Robert Morris University. That's going to do it for our uh, post-game report. Rush in Richmond this coming weekend. Hope you'll catch that on Hockey TV. And again, uh, the Rush, four big wins, two elite, two premier here against the Charleston Colonials. Be sure to check our social media platforms for the Charlotte Rush Facebook 
Twitter, Instagram, our Charlotte Rush YouTube channel, and also our Charlotte Rush website for complete information on this year's 2019-20 edition of the Charlotte Rush. I'll tell you, things are off to an exciting start. We're all very excited. So, for Trevor Jewell and all of us at the Charlotte Rush, this is Rush play-by-play announcer Tim Vanelli. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.